aluminum carbon embedded batteries excellent rechargeable cycles more than 10000 friends for preparing this aluminum carbon embedded iron batteries i have taken this carbon black plus graphite mixed it with rosin binder able to visualize yeah this and also i need this powder aluminum foil which i used to mix it aluminum powder recorded by using mixer and aluminum foil so i powdered like this okay so using this carbon black and plus graphite i obtained this electrode pure carbon graphite electrodes even the in my previous two videos i have explained it how i am preparing all this electrode this is conductive less than 5 ohms it is similarly i mixed the same carbon black graphite with aluminum powder and i got like this carbon graphite embedded with aluminum powder this i am going to use it in this coming cell this cell we'll see so preparing this positive electrode no? pure carbon graphite electrodes i have in this i am going to put the wire this we'll see in the final i'll put wires black wires positive means red red wire i'll put okay here i'll put wires and all that so i'm going to prepare three cells to be connected in series so i need three bags nylon bags you can refer my previous videos also how to prepare this nylon bag now this nylon cloth we seal it on the sides whatever size you need because i want to make it come inside no accommodate this rod inside so i have made like this you put this okay through this gap we'll fill the this time what i am going to use is mno2 plus those previous i done no aluminum hexa sine operate complex i got plus carbon black plus graphite equal mixture equal ratios so this powder i am going to place inside this here there will be a positive wire red wire then i'll tie the upper side so that this powder will not come outside similarly i'll do for all the three finally i'll show you how we have done all this the final stage i'll just combination of mno2 aluminum sino complex with ferrite then carbon black graphite this i am going to use it this will be our positive load. this is aluminum powder embedded with carbon rod i mean what is rod graphite rod embedded so it is not pure aluminum plate or rod it is it is a mixture of carbon and aluminum so we will see the performance in final stage okay now for the cell i have prepared the first electrodes the powder which i use is the mno2 and aluminum sino complex graphite carbon all these three for three cells i have prepared the bags positive bags able to see the upper thing is just i have inserted on red wire for conductive purpose because while performing the completing the cell now we need L terminals so similarly for the negative which are aluminum embedded electrodes you able to see the dots all aluminum for that i have used as since negative i used black wires okay so we have pre prepared those electrodes assembled this battery now it's a crude form because you have seen three chambers are here i made this box ourselves this pvc cardboard comes board no just i cut it and made like this leak proof three chambers for my the positive electrodes you are able to see those which i filled with bag no the positive using ceramic pad no slowly i wounded with it already at the bottom we have kept ceramic pad just to protect from discharge from negative and positive within the cell you would have seen all my videos i would have told the same thing so similarly for the positives i have wounded even this gaps negative no i can fill with asbestos later on i'll fill it now only thing remaining is now i have to add the electrolyte this electrolyte same i'm going to use aluminum chloride small amount of zinc chloride this i'm going to add it to see this also experience for me first experience i will try to first now close this top with a lid this for this small small holes i will create here then another small hole to fill the electrolyte into the chambers it will be better and look also will be complete 
Friends, I am going to use this electrolyte, no aluminum chloride, small amount of zinc chloride. Already I have prepared this chloride. I will try to add around 50 ml in each chamber. Fifty ml. I'm going to add in each chamber. This, the volt and current it it is able to generate by itself. Shall we close it? It will be better if we close it. To look no as a complete cell. So the wires I have made it to come out. So each chamber cells are come out, positive, negative, this is negative, positive. We can club together. First we will charge each one, we will see what is the single single cells voltage and current. Friends, we shall see the individual cells current, I mean volt first. So I on the voltmeter we can see what is the volt. Okay. This is positive, negative able to see 1.35 this is initial we will find out after charging what it will attain also so similarly for second cell also we will find out light is very dull that is why ok 1.35 this one also second one Third one also will find out. So individually they are giving 1.35. Very stable voltage they are giving. We will find out also the, the what is the current it is able to give each chambers. Then after charging we will see. So 140 milliamperes this cell. So second cell I will find out. 124, 130, okay. Each cell 140, 130, depending on the electrolyte saturation. No, this is a very fresh one. So, after charging, discharge, charging, discharge, it will attain its stability. So, last cell we will see. So, 140 to 130. So, uh, almost all cells are stable. 130, 140 and even the voltage is 1.35. Now we shall connect them in series and we will see what is the volt it able to give the total output. Friends, now we have connected them, interconnected in series pattern. This positive, negative to the second cell positive, negative to positive. So here one negative, one here positive. So this will be our ultimate. We shall put like this. Pass it to. Okay. Now we will see the volt, it, cumulative volt we will see. Okay. So in front of you I am doing it. This is negative, this is pass it to. Okay friends, 3.9. Exactly it is I would add. 3.9. After charging, it will again still better. These are all the early stage. 3.9 volt. So about 200. So we shall put in 10 amps and see. This is before charging. I am saying, this is carbon, no carbon embedded. So we cannot expect uh, immediate voltage and current. So I uh, will see it. So around 210 milliamperes, 220 milli milliamperes. So 3.9 volt, 220 milliamperes. We shall able to see friends, 5.1, 5.1 volt. It is able to gain in charging. We will see the current it gains. Then this is only one cycle. If you charge, re discharge like that, you can see better charge cycles. So 500 milliamperes if I, the old gains. So I kept everything. 
it is in not volt we'll see what is the voltage gain okay friends negative this is positive so 5.2 okay friends 5.2 volt it is we'll see what is the current also if you repeat the charging discharging all that no you can see better amps that is why volt will be okay amps will improve only after some 5 to 10 cycles if you charge discharge like that it will improve now we'll see what is the amps also i'll put in 20 amps and see 10 amps and see so all this i'm doing in front of you friends okay nearly 500 milliampere it is constant because i'm able to hear the sound because of my volt okay friends this is aluminum carbon embedded battery It has, has carry more than 10,000 cycles. That is more than sufficient. No? It can be used for storage, storage, storage purpose. Even for electrical vehicles, it can be used. Like this video. Kindly click the like button. You can comment. You can share with your friends. Your comments, your subscription, your liking will help me to do more batteries. Okay, friends. you would see it it can run fine even for even the previous battery i made aluminum ion batteries it runs for 2 hours in this motor after charging again this all practically i am seeing it it gains even 2 volt it gains when it to, when you add in 2 no series it gains more than that nearly 1.8 1.8 3.6 like that it gains okay friends bye